we're gonna talk about some of the best blender add-ons for lighting and rendering different types of environments and scenes that artists can use to save time and create more realistic renders or non realistic renders if they need to. A lot of these add ons are really good and can be relied on for different purposes and to achieve different results. And we are gonna start the countdown with number 14 Sketch Style. Sketch Style is an add on that can be used for ambient occlusion, clay, and sketch type of rendering. Like what we can find in professional software that have the ability to create non realistic rendering, such as SketchUp. Sketch style can be used by concept artists, product and industrial designers, and architects who need or like the look of line drawings. Actually, what this add-on can do can be completely done manually using Blender, but it is going to be tedious and time-consuming. Also, it can be difficult to toggle back and forth between photorealistic and freestyle renders. This add-on can deal with those problems. Furthermore, it has the ability to selectively assign photoreal materials to sketch style scenes. It is usually needed for design phases primarily, and sometimes it is better to use this style for rendering because clients have the inherent expectation when looking at line drawings that they are reviewing only concepts, not final designs. Number 13, EV Express. EV Express is an add-on that is used to speed up the workflow of setting up scenes in Blender's real-time renderer known as EV to showcase models or entire scenes in a short period of time. Generally speaking, this add-on can be a fantastic time saver if you want to quickly render out models or scenes using EV because honestly sometimes it becomes boring and time consuming to set up scenes manually every time you want to render something. Number 12, Looks Core Render. Looks Core Render is a free and open source render engine that works with Blender. The development started in 2008 and the name was changed from Lux Render to Lux Core Render in 2017. There is a special add-on called Blend Lux Core, which integrates the Lux Core Render engine into Blender. It generally speaking offers advanced features like accelerated rendering of indirect light and efficient rendering of caustics. Because the Lux Core project was dying under the weight of a lot of old abandoned code, the fresh start was required. The core between Lux and Render is there to highlight the new project focus. Number 11, Toonkit for Cycles. Toonkit for Cycles is an add-on for non-realistic rendering, photo surreal, and stylish rendering as well. This tool was specifically created to suit the needs for those that work with anime, technical design, archvids, and engineering. It can be helpful for studios and artists that create 2D animations from 3D to save time and effort on some of the most tedious and time-consuming aspects of 2D production. Also, it can be used by architects or designers that want to show their clients non-realistic rendering of the project if they want to use Blender instead of specialized software such as SketchUp. Number 10, ProLighting Skies. ProLighting Skies is an add-on from Blender Guru that artists can use to instantly change outdoor lighting to any time of the day and achieve more realistic results because it is based on using high dynamic range images or what is known as HDRI. This add-on is important if you want to render outdoor scenes using HDRI images because it makes the process easier and faster since it gives artists control to choose from many different high quality HDRI images taken by professional photographers to mimic the realistic lighting we see in real world environments. This add-on can be a big time and energy saver because it lets you test different HDRI images real quick to see which one works better in a particular scene. Also, it lets you change the quality of the HDRI if you have a slower machine and of course it is possible to change the intensity of the lighting to fit any situation. Number 9, Barista. This is not exactly an add-on but a rendering tool that gives Blender artists direct CPU and GPU rendering access using Amazon Web Services. You can render any type of project like single frame renders, animations, video clips or composite renders. The good thing about this tool is the fact that it removes the middleman, which means less extra costs. Barista allows artists to get direct access to Amazon servers and make it their own render farm. You can render projects for a very low cost set by Amazon. 
generally speaking using render farms or rendering servers allows you to save time and it gives you the ability to run blender while rendering since the rendering process runs on amazon servers you can continue using blender at any time during the rendering process which allows you to work on other things and make even more money number eight radeon pro render radeon pro render is a powerful physically based rendering engine it can simultaneously use and balance the capabilities of multiple gpus and cpus on the same system at the same time AMD is actually one of the biggest contributors and supporters of the development of Blender, which hopefully will allow it to go even further and develop even better tools. Radeon a Pro Render is a free rendering add-on for Blender that comes with a library of materials that you can use for free within Blender. Number 7. Physical Starlight and Atmosphere this add-on is a full environmental simulator that brings visual consistency when looking at objects in the scene. It can simulate any star and the sky is not only sky dome but the whole atmosphere from the ground up to space and beyond. Calculations are based on physical properties of how light is interacting with the gaseous medium. This add-on fills blunder scenes with air or any other gas where density at the ground level is the highest and the air will be reduced as we move out into space using physics laws which simulates the real world as a result we will get better and more believable renders. The most critical part of the calculations is fog. Like in the real world, it changes based on the altitude of the observer. Even though this add-on is based on physics, it still gives artists the freedom to control their scenes and environments according to their needs. Number 6. E-Cycles E-Cycles is a Blender add-on that can be used to achieve better ray tracing performance. It promises to solve a real problem for artists that need high quality renders on their own machines in a reasonable period of time. Why path tracing is important? Well, because it usually gives better and realistic results, but it is often slow, has a lot of settings, and requires expensive hardware or using render farms, which can be expensive sometimes. Number 5. Gaffer Gaffer is a Blender add-on that helps artists light their scenes by presenting all the right settings in convenient panels for quick access and experimentation, which can be great for saving time, efficiency, and focusing on creating better lighting without getting distracted searching for buttons. But Gaffer isn't just a collection of things you can already do. It includes tools that will speed up the workflow and help artists focus on the task at hand. Number 4. Indigo Render Indigo Render is an unbiased GPU and CPU renderer that accurately simulates the physics of light. A new version was released with a new multi-GPU engine, also workflow and UI enhancements. This render engine is not new and was available for Blender for a long period of time now. It was originally released as a freeware until the 2.0 release in 2009 when it became a commercial product. Number 3. Octane Render Octane Render is an unbiased rendering engine with real-time capabilities. It was created by the New Zealand-based company Refractive Software, which was acquired by Autoy in 2012. Octane is now available for Blender users and can achieve faster results than Blender's native render engine, which is a good thing if you want better performance. Octane Render was the first commercially available and biased ray tracer that fully utilized the GPU, giving it a significant speed advantage by allowing users to easily modify scenes in real time. Number 2. Renderman Pixar Renderman is a very strong and efficient render engine produced by Pixar Animation Studios. They use Renderman to render their in-house 3D animated movies and also it is available as a commercial product licensed to third parties and for those who don't want to use it for commercial purposes, it is completely free. Renderman gives artists access to Pixar's toolbox for lighting and look development and real tools that have already created amazingly sophisticated and complex imagery for feature film. Renderman standards was first presented at the 1993 C-Graph, developed with input from 19 companies. It has been used to create digital visual effects for Hollywood blockbuster movies such as Beauty and the Beast, Terminator 2, Jurassic Park, Avatar, and so on. 
Number 1. V-Ray V-Ray is a rendering add-on that works with Blender. It was developed by the Bulgarian company Kaios Group. It is used for visualization and entertainment like film and video game production, but mostly in architecture, industrial design and product design. It was used for the longest time by architects and designers using CAD software and rendering software such as 3ds Max, but recently in the last few years they created a version for Blender. V-Ray is one of the best add-ons in all industries and one of those that have been around for the longest time. It is constantly developed and enhanced over the years and actually it used to be harder to adjust the settings to prepare scenes but now it is becoming easier and it is able to create better quality renders in a short period of time to keep up with the other competitive render engines that can generate amazing results with little to no configuration. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.